Hello there and good morning champions. Hope you are doing good and waiting for the class. We start with the part 16 of HTML5 and CSS3. And for you we have some important and some good things today. And believe me, I had to wait for 40 minutes, right? And and it's been 40 minutes that dogs have been barking. And now they are a bit silent. I could say silent. They are not completely, uh, you know, stopped uh, barking. But yeah, somehow silent. So let's quickly start. With part number 16 before they start barking again so this is what we have done so far all right developed a flexible box model design and we are trying to do many things today all right so they are more uh, you know main focus is going to be on javascript and maybe we are going to learn few more things um, uh, like tables in html5 and every single thing right so let's get started Okay, let me find this. All right, now so we have every single thing set up here. Before I go and uh, create the header and and create a menu bar right here, so I would like to show you uh, some different things today inside this aside. If I have another aside, so let me see. Okay, the moment I say that they stopped barking, so that's not going to happen not another aside so i'll say br and i will say hello all right so we have it here hmm? all right so let me go for a paragraph right here and let me go with h2 tags all right uh, so i will say new student now they started barking again and I'm not going to pause because I'll have to wait for uh, one hour again okay new student registrations is what we are supposed to take now mm, maybe h1 is going to be much better because it's 20 yeah so new student registration so it looks much better Alright, so let me hit one more break line so that I go. Okay, now it looks much better right here. Alright. <laughs> more flexible. Or I may go it from this side, but this side we have blogs and every single thing. So let's quickly go inside the paragraph. And I will say I want a table. Alright, so this time. I'll do it with table, right? I give this table an ID. So I'll say TBL register. Right, so now this is my table. And as you know, a table has a table row, which is TR, and it has a table a division. So I'll go with two divisions inside a single table, right? And it is going to suffice us. So let me say, enter your first name oh my god so they're doing some fighting i don't know what kind of fighting is going on there but yeah something is wrong and i'll use here input type text and i'll say id is equal to txtf name which is going to be as that of the first name right okay now we have this here right uh, txt F name uh, let me give a bit of spacing here so we are going to have another TR which is the last name uh, the uh, username right and we may say the password the confirm password and 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 what else do you want me to have uh, the email and the contact number and plus maybe the address so it's going to be a big form right you can see it is going to be a big form, but yeah, we're going to style it. It's not going to be dull and lazy like this. Hmm. And first things first, um, let me change all the IDs here. And let me give them a common class name. Uh, okay, let me control Z everything because I have to use a common class name right here. Um, okay, let me have a common class name. I'll say class, uh, right, uh, TXT. Uh, R-E-G-I-S-T-E-R. So, TXT register is the class name. 
and id is txt f name i'll immediately go and create another right enter your last name so i will say the class is same but instead of f name it is going to be l name and i will say enter your email enter your email address class is same txt email right and let me go and have it and i'll say enter your contact number now we'll have to choose a contact number a proper contact number here so i'll say txt con tag so txt contact mm, let me choose uh, I'll say choose a choose a username so I'll call this as txt user name class is same right uh, so I don't want to change classes mm, right uh, and I'll say create a new password so what do you call that as txt password maybe who knows txt password much better okay uh, maybe i done some kind of mistake right here no no it's absolutely right just indentation problems right mm, i'll say confirm confirm your password and i'll type the same txtc password right so let me see how does it look yeah absolutely fine it looks better it looks elegant no not at all well give it shape and size but before that let me have this table let me give it cell padding means internally padding is internal margin is external so i'll say 10 okay now maybe 5 and cell spacing the space between two cells is going to be five yeah now it has created some sort of space right here unless we do some manual styling so let me carry on uh, with tbl register and txt register so i'll go to styles first let me target tbl register i will say hey tbl register you are going to have a width of 100 percent take whatever width is available so now it takes whatever width is available and the second thing that i will do that your uh you know you are flexible with height so i'll say border one pixels solid right i can say hash 999 and just to check right so i do intel yeah 100 percent is being too much so i'll have to reduce it hmm? let me say take 90 percent yeah so 90 percent looks much elegant right why not giving padding so i'll give padding of 10 pixels now padding is internal it's already given right mm, okay okay registrations is grammatical mistake i'll say new student registration right Mm, all right looks much better mm -hmm. if you want to give it a background color which i think you should uh, it should look different right oh, so i'll say background color so i will choose something pretty well orange is the theme maybe yeah so now this is the orange theme that you have chosen can I choose it something light? Yeah, orange and I'll go towards the lighter side of the orange. F96, what do you call that as F9? I'll say hash F96, okay? Yeah, and now what was the background earlier is going to be the border. <laughs> I'll say border, one pixels, solid, hash, triple, now take towards the darker side now i'm going to take 90 which is a bit darker mm, right and now this is supposed to be my 
form right and what I do here let me say line height I'm going to increase the line height of my table okay it's decreased so I'll say 30 pixels yeah so 30 pixels is good so it, they look a bit separated rather than you know maybe 25 pixels so that'll be all right and do you remember we had that uh, box orientation and box shadow all right uh, so you know that uh, we had uh, used it somewhere we used that I am uh, if I'm not wrong mm, you know I use that yeah it's here okay you can see that so I can use uh, the same WebKit box shadow RGBA now so I'm going to use a slight box shadow right here it has given it so let me use it five pixels on the offset right I can see now the slight shadow 0.7 now it has given it only from this side it's just a bit of shadow so I'll just increase and decrease it one pixels again yeah now you can see a slight shadow from here let me say two pixels and from top two pixels okay let me say three pixels from my side now you can see it has given it a bit of black box shadow and that box shadow is Mm, absolutely perfect so that I don't find any problem here now what I do I should do I'll take this h1 let me have initially a table a row right and let me have a table division right here and another division I'll tell you why do I require this at the end of the lecture mm, right and now I'll take the student registration here now you can say new student registration right and now I can target I'll say hey TBL register you have inside h1 tag you mind if you set the color of that h1 tag to pure and pure white now it is completely white with letter spacing one pixels towards each other now this is new student registration you mind if you give padding bottom to 10 pixels yeah now it looks much better all right doesn't it what do you think so right I'll say hey table you mind uh, you have inside you a class because all the input type texts are having a common class name which is txt register so I will target that class I'll say txt register you mind if you uh, right uh, have the minimum height of uh, let's say about 20 pixels right so it has given it 20 pixels maybe if you mind you have 30 pixels yeah 30 is going to be nice and maybe too much so I'll say 35 pixels sorry 25 pixels you mind if you give 20 yeah 25 pixels looks great and I'll say width is going to be 100 pixels okay it's too much so if I change this pixel to percent now this should be an impact so yeah right and I it is 100% now hmm. absolutely all right hmm. what else can we add here all right, I'll go to the source code and I will add at the end of it confirm password. I will say, hey, I may require one blank field and another input type submit, right? And which is going to be having a value of register, right? And ID is going to be txt submit, so yeah. All right, so now you can see that the register button has even come here. So choose your password and confirm your password. Absolutely fine. So do not have any problem here. Mm, but yeah, I just suppose that background still is not up to the mark as per my liking. So if I make it a bit lighter, mind if I try something different? right so it still has a wrong border 
mind if I try something different yeah now I'll have to decrease 0.7 to 0.2 box shadow yeah it looks much better now it looks much better right so let me show you how can we uh, you know adjust different things so here I am going to give it a color which is my base color which is F90 I suppose right so new student registration so that looks much better right and now let me go to txt register which is the class for all the input type txt so i'll say hey txt register you mind if i set border one pixels right solid and you mind if i give you a different color only if you don't mind right it's too much darker so i will go towards lighter side of it fc9 yeah now it is bit lighter right and the same you mind if i use uh inside txt register if i use the foreground color of fc9 also yeah i can see but it is a bit light so i will go a bit dark right here 93 now you can see this is how your form looks like and you mind if I give you my favorite little spacing of one pixels I just focus on I just put my more focus on designing but I don't know why yeah so it's better so no it's not better so let me keep it the way it is right then it is done now we have to go to register and style our uh, this txt submit button so i'll go i'll say hey txt submit you mind if you take the width of 100 percent you'll say why not it has taken you mind if you take the height of 30 pixels it'll say okay i will taken you mind if you set your background color to f90 i suppose yeah you mind if you set color to white and he'll say okay now everything is done so i'll say border one pixels solid and i'll choose f60 for this much darker than 90 now you can see this is your register absolutely fine all right and you mind if i give you a hover right of about mm, background so i'll give it on background color i'll set it to white and color i will set it to hash f 90 at the time when you are clicked you pass mouse over right okay so i'll say dash hover with the cursor being set to with a cursor being set to the pointer right now you have everything said so you can give transition if you want to give transition you can give transition but that's not my aim today my aim is to validate this form right here right so my aim is to validate it so i'll quickly say i'll say hey you mind whenever someone clicks on you i'll say on click if anyone clicks on you you alert that's the first test that we do anyone clicking on submit button is going to generate alert for us so i will refresh it and click and you can see a normal alert i'll say okay fine you're tested positive now you mind if you go to a javascript function right named as validate right uh, so i'm going to a javascript function on click and the name of the function is validate so now i'll have to go and make this function i'll go inside the body and what i do here i will say script type is equal to text slash java script and i'll close the tag script here right and i will say i am declaring a function and the name of the function is validate right and what i can do this validate function say alert and a string hello from function right so this is what i'm getting hello from function 
Now, whenever I click on the submit button, what is going to happen whenever the button is clicked, an event is generated and this validate function is called. And uh, what, what does it do? So it does nothing but alerts hello from function. So now you can see we are getting hello from function. I'll say, oh, hey, you're doing a wonderful job for me, right? Uh, so keep on doing that, right? I can either do this. I'll say, hey, wait a minute, right? I need to grab data first. You mind if I pass something here? I pass hello from here. So I'm passing this in single quotes. So let me pass it in single quotes, right? Let me go to third line. I'll say on click, you call JavaScript function validate and pass one parameter. I'm passing one argument. So that means now if I click on this button, it is going to generate hello from function. Why? Because I have not accepted the parameter right here. For example, if I accept the parameter right here, I'll say val. So now if I alert this val, what is going to happen? On click, when you call this validate function of JavaScript, you're passing one uh, parameter or you can say passing one argument, right, which is a string and it has hello in it so it should print hello let me refresh and see now you can see the parameter is being passed I'll say hello again oh, I make a lot of spelling mistakes hello again right hello again why am I doing hello twice because finally dogs have stopped barking right so I'll say hello again yeah it's working right I don't want to pass any parameter, but what I want to do now is uh, create something like this. I say I need to grab, whenever you call this function validate, I need to grab all the values. And, and those values reside in uh, the spaces, uh, which are the, the following spaces, I would rather say, uh, right? And uh, or maybe in the following elements. And what are those elements? Those elements are as that of the button elements, right? And what I do for that, uh, I'll say, hey, wait a second. I need to get, right? Now, let's see. Okay, let me get it from, okay, let me declare a var. Uh, right, I will say what is the first value that is first name. I'll say var f name is equal to document dot get element by id. And what is the id here? Right, and I'll just copy it. How many elements do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll create seven copies, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll say get it from f name and then get from L name and what's after that mm, uh, it is email address no no it's txt okay yeah it is here txt f name txt L name right so I'll do that so I'll say get from txt f name and second one get it from txt L name and third one get it from txt email fourth contact username so I'll say txt contact I'll say txt username I'll say txt password a p is I suppose capital isn't it mm, right it has to be contact a uh, username a p is capital right here txt password and txt r password so I'll say txt c password I'll give the name f name l name write email and I will say C -O -N -T -A -C -T, contact you name which is username I'll say P word which is password CP word which is confirm the password so now let me indent them right in a much better way so that we can see what is happening right and now whenever you click on this validate function you are going to grab all the values from input type text and store them here. So let me alert one so that we can check whether we are getting or not. So let me alert F name. So whenever you click on submit button, validate is called 
values are being taken and you're alerting them. So now if I alert, I'm getting hello again because I have to refresh. I'm getting input type element. Now what I have to do, what do you want to get from f name? I'll say f name dot value. All right, so I'll get it here, f name dot value. All right, so let me see. Now nothing, and now the moment I pass some value, I get the value which is Fahim. I get the last name value and so on and so forth, right? So let me do validation now. I will say, for example, I will say if for if it's a condition, I'm doing conditional formatting. I will say f name, right? If f name dot value right is not equal or we can say is equivalent to equivalent to blank right and what you do you do this right do not let the form submit or let me stop the form submission here so let me use because you know that uh, there are three different things what we do right if if i tell you something of uh, that or what you call that as a post office protocol so now what is the protocol uh, that form right for example you require an admission in the university right and if you require admission in university and you are sending your form sending your form from right uh, let's say about Srinagar to New Delhi right and there are certain parameters that you have to fulfill, right? And certain conditions that you have to at least abide by. Uh, number one is the form should have the address, right? That is going to be in our case, action, right? And it should <coughs> have the method, or we can say uh, the post method right uh, so the post method can be uh, for example speed post right or courier or it is going to be um, let's say about a post by post or speed post or courier right or anything like that in our case what is it known as it is known as in our case it's also known as method so there are two http methods that you guys as soon as possible need to get aware of right so those two http verbs are get and post so now uh, once i say post i say i am submitting the form and action is the address now how is the data going which is either post or get and where is the data going which is the action so the same thing we can use here in and I'll say form and I'll say action where do you want to take this form I'll say I want to take this form to dest.html right and how do you want to take it what is the method I will say the method is post post is usually used to submit the form it's used for form submission and get is usually used to retrieve a post is used to submit data to the server and get is usually used to retrieve or receive data from the web server is that clear and what I do here I close the form now what is inside the form now as soon as I click on submit button everything which is inside the form including the submit button will be submitted to this dest.html right so now if I say I register now you can say des.html which does not exist so let me quickly go and create a new so let me copy this and I'll create a new uh, let's say about HTML file right and I'll delete every single thing I don't want so I just want a body and HTML so I'll say inside body <coughs> sorry I will say that I need to have an h1 tag right here right and this is going to be welcome page right i'll say this as dest.html right so now you can see that whenever i submit this form i go to uh, dest.html i don't know i saved it perhaps yeah i saved it inside styles who knows okay i'll delete it i'll go back and i'll save this as dest.html so now if i go back refresh the site 
and I click on register I go to desk.html not only I go to desk.html but what I do because it's a form submission it's a post submission I take to desk.html everything that is inside this form either blank values or filled values now in that case I don't want to take blank values to the destination right I don't want that to happen what I need to do is to validate this right uh, before the form is submitted I'll say validate it right and for that what I do I will stop form submission right I will say hey form what you got to do right you take the return you take return of validate that means unless validate returns true I'm not going to let the form submit if the validate returns false let the form submit so let me return let me return false here what is going to happen I'm stopping the form submission you can clearly see the form is not getting submitted even if I hit enter or do anything form will not be now if I say return true right here so what is going to happen is that the form is submitted right so now that is what I will do I will block I will say here because now form will not be submitted unless the validate function returns true because I am taking the return from validate so now this validate function has to return true I will say hey wait a second if why would I return true if f name is equivalent to equivalent to blank why would I return true if it is blank you do one thing you alert a message you give me a message please fill in right first or we can say first name is required right so I, I'm showing this alert and plus but this is not going to serve the purpose now you can still see uh, no let me refresh first okay <clears throat> you can still see that you still go to welcome page right <clears throat> so if f name dot value I will say if f name dot value is equal to equal to blank and then show alert and still it is not going to serve the purpose now but alert is going to come first name is required baby but as soon as I click OK and it goes to dust right in that case what I have to do I'll say hey if it is blank why would I submit my form I'll say return false now I return false now unless you have something in the first name you're not going to submit right you can say now when I write Fahim and then and only then I'll be going to welcome page and in case if I do not write anything I will get the alert first name is required I'll do it for all now first name is required last name is required right and every single thing is required seven okay and uh, now what I do if L name dot value so I will say last name is required and then I say mm, uh, what is after the last name first name last name email contact so I will say write uh, first name no 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 it is first name last name I will say email mm, and then I have contact right email right I'll say email address is required and then contact right I'll say contact number is required whatever you think is required you name uh, which is the user name right I'll say you name is required user name is required p word c p word so I will use p word and c mm, u name is required I'll say p p word dot value so I'll say password is required right and I will say C password which is confirm password so I'll say confirm password is required and now if you have entered all I'll check the second thing does the password does the password if it is not equivalent to right if password dot value is not equivalent to the confirm password dot value right so password and uh, and confirm password should match that's what we have confirmed password for if they do not match now alert right S confirm password and password is 
or pass confirm password password do not match all right all right so you can say confirm password and passwords password do not match so that's what I'm going to do here uh, and let me go and run one by one all right so I'll say register hey first name is required I'll give first name hey now no what has happened something wrong first name if L name is txt L name and then we have email everything is fine so what is the problem maybe I did not refresh it let me say first name is required if I give first name okay I do not have any problem here what is problem okay uh, if first name is now you go to L name right what is problem here L name document txt L name let me go to txt l name and see what is an error right here l is capital so i'll have to make it small right you can see l was capital here that's why we had an error <coughs> because javascript is case sensitive and javascript is completely case sensitive so now let me go and test again first name is required we have already seen that now i'll say last name is also required i'll say okay now i'll get email address is also required i'll say okay now i'll get contact number is required i'll say okay now i'll get username has an error so i'll have to check that first is that txt username maybe spelling mistake is what okay txt username has small u txt password has small p so i've corrected all now let me go back and see first name is working last name has worked email has worked contact has worked username has not worked username is required mm, all right and password is required so i'll say pass pass and pass -S, -S, s pass so now you still get it because we have problem with password uh, password is working now we have problem with confirm password right i'll have to clear it now now let's see it's good that we are getting errors so that you come to know how to debug also right mm, uh, so we have txt c password right here all right so let me see what is wrong here txt c password has a p capital and we use small here you can see this so we have capital c and now let me do it again and let me change one more thing let me go and instead of alert right i will say okay let me say var message label is equal to let me create i told you in the beginning why this txtd is empty i told you i'll tell you why is this empty right i'll make a small here right and i will just give this small and id this is small tag for small caps and i will say mm, message label so this is going to be message label right and now i'll call this message label instead of the alert that is the again uh, that's the change required so i'll say is equal to document so i'll say document dot get element by id which is going to be message label so i will say now i will use this message label right here so i will say message label dot html or, or html or you can use uh, message label dot text as well right so first name is required now let me show you we're not getting alert we'll be getting error <laughs> all right so let me see this document dot get element by id message label we did not refresh it i suppose that's why yeah still we have some error with message label right here okay let me see this is small id why do i use small so let me not use small here okay let me use give id to t uh, td so the complete table division has an id which is message label and I'll say message label is called document dot get element by ID which is message label and I'll say message label dot text is equal to first name is 
required. So now we should get it, but we're not getting it. Why? And why aren't we getting it, right? So we have something, something wrong with our code. So we'll have to see that. Uh, um, that why are we getting this? We should not get this, right? Okay, let's say document dot get element by id directly and we call this directly document dot get element by id message label dot text first name is required in that way maybe it may run yeah it doesn't run uh, so i will use i and in inner html so maybe inner html may run yeah it's not working at all my god uh, message label right and we are targeting uh, inner HTML here so if I target HTML what would happen right so we're not getting let me fix it and come back to you all right guys what we are doing here uh, message label dot HTML uh, I'll have to use easy colon to rather than braces right message label dot html is equal to right so it's not the function uh, right so let, let me refresh now and see okay we are not getting anything uh, message label dot html what if i use it directly message labels will i be able to get something out of it yeah we should be we should be right we're not getting it maybe because of small tag message label i'll just oh i just kept it again here message label let me have the id of td as message label and let me go and say message label document dot get element by message id and set the html it should work now it has no reason not to work okay why the hell wouldn't you work i'll say dot inner html is equal to maybe inner html may work yeah inner html has worked right first name is required and i'll change the color right here i'll say hey td you mind uh, i'll do inline styling here so we can manage that yeah style is equal to color red i need you to have red color right all right so now if i go on and say register first name is required right and the second thing that I can do here is when I print first name is required okay let me go and do it to all right okay let me just copy paste instead of alert I want you to do what I want you to do which is I need modern style alert is old school and I may have to delete this brace as well because it is not used for setting the inner HTML, right? It's no longer used to set the inner HTML, but still we have an error somewhere. Okay, let me see the error first. Okay, okay, and alert is still here. I don't want to alert right okay now no error so let me try for the final time hey brother first name is required and then say oh now last name is required i give the last name say email address is required i give the email address contact number is required i give the contact number and uh, username is required i give password now and password is password and pass and i'll get the message confirm password and passwords they do not match at all I'll say okay no don't worry password and confirm when now everything matches now will be redirected to another page now you can say now we go so we are sending valid data right you validated you check whenever whenever you submit any kind of form you validate the form you check it 10 times 20 times right you go through it you proofread it and then send this is what validation this is what we are doing here and second thing what we can do right here is for example I will say like if f name dot value is equal to blank return false but do one thing you go and read focus go and put the focus on f name 
Now, for example, uh, let me change the input type of password first, right? So it is going to be txt password, but input type is password and password here as well for confirm password. Now let me go and show you find that. Now first name is required. See the focus is here. Now you can see mouse is blinking here. Now the moment I say first name is required, the cursor has jumped to first name right here. Right? Okay. Uh, now if I validate it like this, I'll say first name dot focus and then last name dot focus and then right you can use dot focus with every but before returning false return means code is going to return from here this is not going to get executed right the moment you say return the next line is not executed right uh, so that's why it's very important to do it uh, before hand rather than okay before the return statement i will say contact dot focus and this is how your focus is going to work okay now just say that you got to give me focus on contact now but here please put your focus on username right and here i can say please put your focus on password right and here please put your focus on before the return statement after return is going to be unreachable now write and see password dot focus and here i will say put focus on uh, password not uh, the c password but yeah we don't want to focus here because they do not match so what do i do okay maybe put the focus back on p word right who knows now let me focus on this and refresh it now see the focus work now focus is here first name is required i'll say fahim now you can see focus automatically shifted to last name so i'll say khan now focus automatically shifted to email so i will use my email focus automatically shifted to contact now you can see unless unless the contact is given focus is going to remain with contact so i'll give contact number and i'll give username now you can see password is required the password confirm password is required i'll say pass now they match or they do not match or i haven't given password confirm password is required focus is here now they match i'll be redirected immediately to dust dot html now we can ensure that we are sending uh, valid data to dust dot html and the data is not still completely validated what if i don't want to send quotes i don't want to send these things uh, right i don't want to send plus for that we have to do a special validation known as using regular expressions we are going to block and take valid data and it is the backbone of software engineering validation and verification are two backbones of software engineering which every software professional should know all right and apart from doing designing you're learning javascript as well right it's a very good thing so focus is done your design is done javascript is done now send me email me uh, the same procedure and this is my email address i'll check right and complete your assignments complete this be in sync with me it's very important for you to be synchronous with me don't miss right and don't stay idle work hard and wish you all the best see you tomorrow bye bye take care